before I didn't really like I didn't really like this class starting making this song I've been wanting to come to school every Monday and Wednesday I didn't want to miss at least one day of it Wham actually reached out to us seeing if we wanted some artists to come to our school I've been looking for a local Aboriginal artist to come to our school for a long time now and we were very fortunate enough to actually have Josh um, aka Fluent come down and work with our boys and it's a bit of a, a dream come true I love like making music and especially with the boys get to know different people. Now yeah, I can't really say a favorite part, I just love the whole thing all together, the journey. We make choices in our lives and we travel paths and um, making music has definitely led me on a, on a great journey that's helped me in my life. My name's Fluent. Uh, I'm a Nyunga Wonga hip hop artist. I make music about my people and culture. Uh, the program that we have here, a set of workshops that we've been working towards a song that we've got all the young mob all involved in. And it's a song about the celebration of culture and celebrating the fact that they have the right to be proud here on the Nyunga Buja. Cottage is a key, just said all that people free. But what you see ultimately is what a song I land always was and always will be. Damn! You could be one minute you're writing the song and then Mr. Cullen will say, oh, the tapping sticks, they're not good enough. So then we had to go over to the tapping stick. Mr. Cullen will make a new beat and then we gotta like get to the rhythm of that beat with the song. The song's called Flip the Shame and part of the process of um, flipping the shame is actually to empower the Aboriginal students to actually own who they are, their culture, own part of the, um, the courage to get up and be a leader and to actually um, love who they are and what they represent. And what we wanted to achieve was to make a positive for, for the kids so they can actually be a leader and a role model for the next generation for them. I believe that with music there's also obligations to talk about truth and educate people on certain matters. Um, I think there was a saying that said um, music can change the world because it can change one person and I always quite think, I think about that quite often when I'm writing, writing music. To work with a local artist like Fawn, it's a high reward itself, you know, because you have someone who's local, who's been around and, you know, who stands up for their people. And you want it nice and close, and you want to be like almost talking straight into it, nice, straight chest, bang, telling them what you want to say. You got, you got to say Kanye, and you got to do my rap. Oh, I'm gonna do floor to bit. I, I help you with Kanye. Balga's got a great music program, and all the young mob here are already, I guess, immersed in it. That it was just such an easy transition for me to come in and sort of support what is already going on here. Deadly, deadly. So some of the boss parts in these one, and then some of the boss parts in these one, you back up that rhyme at the end. So babe, what's the, what have we got here? We've got A. You ready for all the seats? You can say that together, you know? For all the seats. not to push the blame. It's not gonna help or change the game. Proud of the boys, we here to show the way. Now stop. Just flip the shame. Uh, watching the kids actually grow into the song and own the song was one of my favourite parts of actually the journey that we, that we saw. Where they own the song and they feel proud of it. This is something that we've created together and yeah, that's the best part of the whole song. Yeah. Could always come up with like this, we'll be just sitting there and we'll come up with like one word and that one word will get to in like a little story, we'll go way off track. We'd like say some words and like, it, it'd be kind of funny and we'd all like laugh together. Part of music is it can be very therapeutic, can be very empowering, um, can help to deal with emotional blockages. Music's very powerful on so many different levels. Without music, I'd be quite empty, and now uh, music filled like a lot of those things inside me that I felt that um, didn't have filled before. This, like spending more time with people that I love, you know, even get meet fluent, do music with him and my little brother, and we get to do cool things. So it really it has made it better. There's a real strong energy behind the song. So in order to um, to portray that, the flipping of the shame, and obviously the name Proud Noongar Boy, the music had to have a lot of impact, and a lot of energy. The shame is such a um, you know a, a big factor, but um, 
you know, if we stand up against that, I think we're going to move forward.